Hi, Clint. Oops. Sorry about this. I've got to get rid of all these notifications. Go away, go away. No, I don't want that to do that. Hello, 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 Miss Teresa. Welcome. I have left you the link. How is everybody today? Correct tension. Clinty boo. <laughs> I have got this white machine out. I want to say if I can repair its tension. I like my other machine in the other room, but I think there's times I'm going to. Okay, that's the bobbin already threaded. Right, that's going to go down there. I hate the foot on this one, it's so light, it moves. Now I've got to find some material to do testing. Oh. 
Right, so now I'll also go find some cotton. I've got a big spool of cotton look like this, but I haven't got the things that fit in there yet, so I'll put it in my Colored threads and only use white. <laughs> Hi, Laura. Welcome. Let me see. Whether I can do this or not, I don't know. But we don't know till we try, do we? all my good scissors and everything are in the other room. <laughs> Go through. That needs another pair of scissors. Also need to plug that in there. Off. I'm reading, going to be reading the instructions on what to do from the old machine, but I think they're all basically the same, aren't they? And what you do. to see if it's got a screwdriver in here but it hasn't. Never mind, I've got some. Let me see. 
I'm a bit peeved that I can't go live in the other room. But never mind. Never mind. Here she is knocking at the door. Just let me let Tracy know about this. Oh, this is not working. Here she is. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> I've been here. <laughs> well, I'm going to stop. Switch it on. Hi, Kathy. How are you? Yes. Hello, Kathy. Yeah, everybody's well this end. Our numbers went down again here, so that was good. So we're down to single figures. Eight new cases today. Well, that's good news. It is good news. Uh, we're going to start our phasing, I guess. Uh, I'm going to see some countries overseas are extending their time. We haven't been told that. Yeah, I see that's not working. Right. Kathy says, I'm, I'm doing all right. Yes, great news for you, Dada. You don't give nobody no warning for coffee or soda pop or chocolate. I haven't or... even got myself a cup of coffee. Look, if you would like to take a break. Well, I'm just because you jump off a cliff, that doesn't mean I got to jump with you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the upper tension thread is stressed along the top of the material while the lower thread is pulled up in small loops. This will also happen if the tension and the lower thread is too light. But always, oh, my God. Loosen the upper thread tension by turning the knob to a lower figure. Okay. <laughs> sure I do, says Kathy. <laughs> Turn it to number three. See if that's done it. Uh, I just like to be able to get this to... There's a lady at Spotlight that would do it for me straight away, but she, Spotlight's closed. How do they close it? Anyway, let's try this. No, that's the same. Again, this happened to type the tension on the lower thread, but adjusting the lower thread, try adjusting the tension in the upper thread. Increase the upper thread tension. Best that I. Yes. Uh, Kathy says, uh, read what Kathy said. How does your bobbin sit? Does it have a, ca a casing in, sits in? Is it a drop in bobbin? Uh, hold on, I'll get to show you. Or I'll get the camera then. Hold on. These are these long bits. I hate long bits. Right, let me turn the, that. Now, hold on, ladies, you're going for a, a ride. It won't be the first. No, it certainly won't be the last. No. Not at all. Oh, that's like mine. It's how it is, Kathy. And then I have to take it out. I lift that little lever there and hold on to that and take it out like so. Okay, go slow so Kathy can communicate with you. Sorry? Keep. Okay, go slow and watch what Kathy tells you. Yeah, well, hold on. I think I might have to get onto YouTube. I think the chat comes through quicker on that. Hold on. Well, I could read it to you. Um, I'm on YouTube now. Oh, your picture's not so good on YouTubers. Hold on. 
Okay, I can see. La, 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 la. Okay, so what are you trying to do, Miss Tadai? Um, well, when I do the sewing, let's see if I can see, the underneath, let's see if I can get that in front of the camera, not blurred. Hold on. Wait for it to come. Oh, I see the loose thread. Yep, see, that's the underneath. The on top is like that. Yeah, I know it's the tension. Yeah, I know. So is it... I've just loosened the top tension. I'm going to go back down to where it was because it hasn't remedied it. So I'm thinking it's in here. Is the thread tail on the bobbin coming down like a P, not a Q, eh? When I put my bobbin in, I have to have the thread coming up and over. Oh, I'll get my hands in there. When I put the bobbin in, Hold on, I'm waiting for the. Right. I put the bobbin in and it comes up and over like so and into there. And then I take it and pull it till it comes into there. Feels like tension there. Let me try it again. Pop that in there. Kathy says yes, that looks good. Yeah. I'll come here. The finger in there, gotcha. Take that to the back. And put that in there. Whoa. Well, that was better, but the top thread broke. That went right, but the top thread broke. Oh. It's uh, at four. It's sitting at four. This bloody cotton's broke. And this is. I'll thread it again. Now I'm wondering, this cotton I've put in, I don't know what the quality of it's like. I wonder if that's why it's broken already. If it is, I'll have to go and get my other one at the other room. You buy these boxes of different cotton and they're not the same, are they, as buying by the spool? 
Um, she says, have you taken out the part the bobbin sits in for any reason? No, I don't touch that part in there. And Jude says, hello, Mama. Hi, everyone. Hello, Jude. Hi, Jude. I'm trying to be a repair work. Okay, when you and Kathy mentioned your tension set on four, where do you set that at? At the top, it's set on four. And four is the average. Oh, go in. You mean at the top of the machine? Yeah. Yeah. Um, One day I'll have a self threading. Hey, Judith. It's only on what I've been doing, Judy, is I've set the other machine up in the other room. And I'm thinking I might set this one up in this room. So that when I go off here, I can take, when I go off live, I can go in the lounge and still carry on working. Okay. Judith asks, have you cleaned it out? And then Kathy says, try threading the entire machine. Try? Yes, well, I've just re-threaded the new, the top of the machine because I've just put a new spool on it. So where's that on there? That's a more haywire there. Where have you gone there? Uh, let's just do this up here. Oh, you've not got a very good view of things, have you? There? What view is that? Yep, yeah. I will have to kick it out the door. Oh, blimey, that was easy. It's perfect. Yay, Dada and Kathy, yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, can I put that on my CV, can repair machines just by touching them. You gotta give Kathy some credit. She helped walk you through. And then she told me to. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Dad. <Dad-Dad. laughs> I think that's why I ended up not liking sewing, Kathy, because of things happening like that all the time. time. So there we go. I've got that one going too. I've got uh, jeans. I have. Did you read everything Kathy says so I don't have to? Yeah, her, yes, I had threads. Yes, I see that. Okay. <laughs> As I say, that's why I gave up sewing once because I couldn't be bothered. Well, she did say I didn't do much, but uh, that I did it. Well, it was the machine probably heard that you were helping. I thought I better be helping. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it just knew that she was giving you advice. <laughs> and Laura said maybe the bobbin wasn't in all the way. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe I haven't put the thread quite in all the way. It can be simple little things, can't it? And you said you kicked her into gear, huh? <laughs> and Kathy said maybe it scared it. <laughs> or she scared it. Probably when it knew the whole internet was watching. All eight of them. <laughs> You're blessed to have eight. I know I am. I'm not complaining. So what I'm going to go and do now is make myself a coffee so you can all just have a break already. <laughs> oh, that is so wrong. That is so wrong. Well, you I gave thought... me two seconds notice with no coffee, no soda pop. I do have I chocolate. Because if it hadn't worked, I was going to say, oh, sod it and go back into the land yours. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're going to leave us all hanging. Thank you. No, no, no. You can all go and make a coffee. I've told you. 
No, you said if it wasn't going to work out, you were just going to say goodbye. Oh, no, no. <laughs> it's a, I know it's a cheapy, it is, Jude. That's all I can afford, a cheap. <laughs> the good ones are even cheaper still. It was only 30 bucks. <laughs> oh. oh, dear. Wait until I'm doing the quilting and I go round onto Mary's $4,000 machine when I can get round there. Then, said, that's it. I'm out of here. I'm teasing. She didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> right, because another thing I'm going to do is where I've got a hole here where I had a desk, I need another new white desk, same as the other one, to fit back in here. I've got this big hole at the side of me. Look. Well, how'd you get a hole in your wallet? You, you got angry, didn't you? Look, see? Big hole. Well, how'd because you get a hole? The big hole that the machine is on is in the other room. I used to swing round to this here. So now my table's gone. Because it's in the other room. Okay. So I could do with another desk to fit here. <laughs> Oh, I could. Mm -hmm. So I liked having that table there. Mine is a brother, not expensive either from Walmart. A little over 100, I think, but works for me. Yeah, these are cheaper ones. They're not bad, really. Uh, Leroy bought me one. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, Clint. Leroy bought me one, um, a brother one uh, at Walmart. Let's see, 1990. We're yeah. laughing now. Who said what? Okay, uh, he bought me one. 19. <laughs> what? Let me look. Kathy says, uh, Don't be kicking holes in the wall. I don't control that temper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know where that hole come from. This is no um, hole. It's, it was this you could see. No. But that's some machine uh, Leroy bought me in the 1990 The brother at Walmart It's still yeah. just as Yeah Where's she gone? Who? Oh, it's just, just as You said just as and didn't finish Hi Peter Uh Let's have a look. Kathy says, sure. Okay, we will go with that. Laugh out loud. Good. <laughs> and okay. Peter says, how is everyone doing? I'm doing good. Oh, that's good. I don't need that right in the face. And Kathy says, you just got to let the machine know who is boss. Yeah. Where'd you go? Me. No, Jude. Oh, she gone. No, I know she was saying something and you said she dropped out. No. No, I thought she told me to kick my um machine out. Oh, okay. Here she is. Here she's oh, here. There she is. There she is. Uh give that. There we go. Let's have a look here. Oh, I bet they this is an essential item we can deliver to your door. Yeah. They're only $39 for that disc, you know. I'm thinking I might get another one. Me thinks. Are you keeping the desk in your lounge? Yeah, because this morning while the news and that was on, I got up and did some sewing instead of just sitting and watching telly or videos. But okay, when you're not on lockdown, is it going to stay in your living room? Well, it might do if I'm still doing quilting. Only $39. Now, granted, I'm not one to give you advice. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. It's just a plain, simple one. 
There's one there that collapses down, but I don't really need that. Uh, that juices. Okay. The, oh, Stella says hello, everyone. Oh, sorry, I'm looking elsewhere. Miss Peter. Hi, Peter. Stella. Oh, Stella. Where's Stella? Oh, yes. Hi, Stella. How are you? And How are you? you said I just sent you some yeast, Mama. Where, what do you mean, juice? She said it won't be there until Thursday, they said. Oh, how, oh wow. how do you know I want yeast? I can't get it down here. Thank you so much. I much appreciate that. Oh, Stella says I'm home now. Yay. Yes, yeah, so. I'm home now. Thank you, Jude. I, um, I do want some of that. Miss Dada, why are you catching up on chat? Do you mind if I hurry up and get me a coffee? No, because I'm going to go and do the same. Lady, I'm not going to leave these people alone. Well, you go first then. Go on, and I'll go, because I'm busy looking at these desks. Well, no, Princess Before Pauper. Oh, you go. Go on. <laughs> go. <laughs> and I'll argue with me. <laughs> just don't argue with me, Teresa. Just go. <laughs> uh, I have... District nurse home. Oh, come twice a week to dress the wound. Right. And Anita said, hello, Dada, and Teresa and everyone. Hello, Anita. Excuse me. They want sixty dollars to deliver it. Come on. Get stuff. Oh sorry. Um it's done. Uh Peter wants to know what time do you have? <laughs> Dad, I quit shopping. Sorry, I was <laughs> looking at it. Sorry, Peter wants to know what. Let me look. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm going to come in here. Hello, Anita. Peter, Peter. Where is it? What's he saying? What time do you have? Oh, sorry. Two o'clock. Just coming up to two o'clock. 1.54. 11.54. a.m. here. So you're an hour's difference. No, yeah. Yeah. You're a bit slower than us. <laughs> You're not quite as fast as us. <laughs> okay, I'm going to hurry up run because it only takes me a second. Go on then. Okay. All right, let me have a look at this again. Oh, no. Go to the cart. Delete one. Uh, your cart is empty. Start. Ah. So, is anybody doing? Um, 39, it says there. Add to the cart. View cart. That is pathetic. They want $60 to deliver a box with a desk in it. My God, they're going to be ripping people off for getting stuff delivered i'm going to report them to the government we've got to report any gouging let me take a picture of that and i'll report it to the government <laughs> that is disgusting the desk itself is only 39 
must be writing an email about that. That's disgusting. It might be open next week anyway. Okay, back with you. Yeah, the item was $40. I want $60 to deliver it. Hi, Diane. Welcome. Yeah, we're three hours ahead. That's it, Jude. You worked it out. I'm no good at that. So, so if I get one of them, I wait till they open. That is disgusting. Sixty dollars. I don't know, Peter. I can't either. They've taken that off because I keep trying to do that. I don't know why that's altered. I'll have to get in touch with YouTube and find out because that's a pain. That was how I used to do it, find out a lot of my people's channels by doing that. Been like it for a couple of weeks, hasn't it? Let's have a look, see. Let's ask Siri. Why has YouTube removed the go to channel feature? There you go. What happened to the go channel option? I'm hoping this is just a glitch. Oh. Comments. Let me go on. We must have this fixed. Moderator. Please. Good. Well, all it's got here is people who are all. Um, there's no reply from YouTube themselves. All people asking the same question. Uh, Laura, did you read what Laura wrote? Guy, I finally sent you the fabric. <gasps> oh my God. Oh, Laura, thank you. Oh. I can't wait to get rid of it because of that Stella awesome fabric on it. Oh, Laura, thank you so much. Oh, I've got to write that and let me take a picture. Let me take a picture of that bit of chat. So I can track it. What? Oh, oh, the, it. the number. Yeah. Laura, um, Laura sent Kathy, um, Ruby, oh, I forget the name of them now, some uh, fabrics. Do you remember them coming? Um, oh, what were they called, Kathy? Oh, heaps of them, quarters. And in beautiful colours, beautiful, beautiful colours. And then Laura... Asked Ruby to ask me if I would like a set of them. And she, and she said, Well, that's three weeks to get to in customs for 10 days. No, uh, Ruby hasn't done a quilt with it yet. Grunge, grunge material, that's what you call it. Yeah, but oh, the colours in it's beautiful. No, not the Christmas ones. Uh, I think we bought them elsewhere. This is some that um, Laura sent. Kathy's uh, asking which quilt, the Rue 1800 yeah. or the Christmas ones? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, I'm sorry. 
that's all right um it's neither of them it's some oh i wonder what video it's on because she opened them up on one of the videos called grunge material but oh the word doesn't do just if it's not grunge grunge to me is a mess but it's not a mess <laughs> um oh it's beautiful you wait till it comes if it took three weeks to get to Rudy, I don't know how long it take to get here. I shall have to start tracking it. Um, UPS. It is still in the US at the moment. Yeah. See, them, it might be quite delayed quite badly at the moment. Yes, yes, Kathy. Have you even got your coffee yet? Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, that was quick. I told you it was, yeah. Well, I can't, I'm excited now. I'm so excited. Gonna... <laughs> it's so know. hard to believe that you listen to the songs I used to listen to. <laughs> I had to lose control, and I had to... <laughs> that was like, that, that. That's just like my mama. She liked the songs that you like, and of my generation. Yes, Kathy, I bought. I overbought by half a yard, so I sent fat quarters to Ruby and Di Di. Oh, you're so sweet, so 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 sweet. Oh. Oh, generosity for people. Anyway, wait till it comes. I'll probably be crying. So I'm going to make a cup of coffee and I will not be long. Teresa, it's over to you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> I got my coffee. I have to go lie down now, ladies and gents. Can't set up any longer. See you next time. Well, you feel better, soon, Stella. I'm glad to hear that you're out of the hospital. So, what has everybody been doing today? I know Ruby went live uh, doing her mask. Thank you, Kathy. Yeah. Oh, okay, Kathy. Yeah, I figured she did take a break because she was just constantly doing that mask. I have missed messing with you too. I know you do. I know you do, Kathy, because you used to a lot. Uh, yeah, Laura, I've seen her playing a game, but no sooner than I think Clint came in, and then I came in, then the screen went black and we couldn't see no more. Yeah, Kathy, they didn't know whether to take us serious or not in the chats. I had so much fun with you. The game is awesome, please, but I have to watch because I get much sickness. Uh... Okay, hope to see you soon, Peter. Thanks for coming in. Oh, that was nice. Uh, Laura. I think I did hear 
Patsy in the background when they were playing the games. It was, Kathy. It was so much fun. So y'all get, get getting uh, geared up for the giveaway? I set up most of the night trying to think of a question and going through videos. Uh, Kathy, I, I have problems going to a phone and doing this stream. <laughs> hey, Jude, my sister joined. You need to say hello to her. I told her all about you and Miss Dada and the girls in the group. I mean, if you want to. You guess her mouth moves. She didn't go for coffee. She went for her whole tea. Hey. Is that your dinner? <laughs> Cup of noodles. We, me, me and Kathy was talking about do you remember way back, way back, it was last year, uh, me and Kathy would get in there, and you kept watching the chat, and everybody was watching me and Kathy, and me and Kathy were just going back and forth, back and forth, and y'all thought me and Kathy had, um, she was quick, she was quick with it, and I was trying to be as quick as her, and people were wondering if me and Kathy was going at it, and she was good, though, she was good. <laughs> But no, we had so much fun going at you know, it. It was a fun time. <laughs> she's quick. I'm telling you, she's quick. Patsy's still there. What have I missed? Let me scroll up. Um, I have. Oh, Stella's going to lie down. Okay, Stella, don't you overdo things. Yeah. And she says, hi, Elizabeth, please answer the questions to be accepted into the group. Where's Elizabeth? That's what I'm looking at. That's what made me start and look. Hold on to your bootstraps. going to be a bumpy ride. Oh, Lord. Thanks, Stella. Oh, that's because you told me to take over and Kathy said. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Would you expect anything else out of Kathy? <laughs> no. We've been great chatting. Oh, Peter's gone. Okay, Peter, thanks for popping in. Appreciate it. Your yeah, Patsy's still there. Oh, and Kathy said, remember, my sister's name is Teresa also, yes. Hello, Diane. Uh, she's asking you a question, Miss Daddy. Well, I guess my most mood. Hi, Elizabeth. I can't find Elizabeth. I don't see an Elizabeth. You'd have to ask Jude. 
Yeah. Remember my sister's name is Teresa also. Died, died I, did you know? No, I unfortunately don't. We haven't heard from her lately. Um, she's okay, but we haven't heard from her lately. Jude, on this, I'll be three seconds. Sometimes you can be more than that. I'm looking on, I'm on Facebook at the moment reading everything. If I go through to StreamYard, it's even worse. Oh, Elizabeth is in this chat. Elizabeth, I think she's saying is in Facebook. Right. Well, she must be here for her to be talking to her too. Oh, yeah. Well, that's okay. If you she's lurking, that's fine. Oh, yeah. Call me when well, you... I told you that my sister had joined. And I said, my sister would be tickled if she said hello because she knows about Jude and you. And... <laughs> yeah, well, Debbie, where are you? Come come forth. Come forth. <laughs> she thinks Miss Dad I walk on water. <laughs> it's steam yard. I can, when I watch it, Judy, it's as I'm doing it. The delay is getting to um, YouTube. So it's YouTube that's behind, not the stream yard. But, but I find that I see the chat quicker on YouTube than on StreamYard. It's weird. Yeah, because I'm seeing the chat right away um, on my phone, and it's on YouTube. Yeah. And I'm looking at you through StreamYard. Yeah. Hmm. Two-minute noodles. What do you want? Oh, God, they're both here. No, I mean, any of my noodles. Oh, I meant to bring my other court in. I have to go and get it. I should have to go and get it. How do you eat um, noodles without getting in a mess? How do I Hi, eat noodles? Welcome. I have to bring the cup up to my chin. Hello, Nikki. Welcome, Nikki. So you're asking how I eat noodles? Any way I can shove them in? Like I am. All that drip down the front and everything. <laughs> oh, I'll find a way to put a noodle in there. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I'm doing it live, you know, I've got to be, <laughs> I should be coffee first. <laughs> no. Is Judith Is and Nikki that? I think so. Okay. I really don't know how Leroy's doing. We haven't seen each other all day. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm joking. Well, sort of. <laughs> I think we said hello in the hallway in the kitchen. <laughs> hello. <laughs> You're looking forward. <laughs> Uh, I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> Don't choke on your noodles. <laughs> God, <laughs> you're finished work. Excuse me. Oh dear, you're mad lot. You're good. <clears throat> it does help to be mad though to come on here. Gary is driving me crazy. I just blame his meds for it. That's all right. Oh. I, I just blame 
the fact that Leroy's last name is Lily. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. there was four boys and all the same. Yeah. You tell Gary I'll sort him out if he don't behave. Oh, well, Catty's just sitting on the couch relaxing. What a good idea. What a good idea. I think she was having problems with her back the other day. Yeah, I know. I was just lying in bed reading last night before I went to sleep. And I ended up in a call with um, Ruby. She put a call out. I went, oh, my God, what's she doing up this time night? But that's what she asked me. She said, it's you that should be asleep. <laughs> uh, she says, uh -huh, that's what he's worried about. He's he's quiet when it comes to mama. Yes, I do notice that. It, it's <laughs> sort of like, yeah, he does quiet up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's got respect for his elders. <laughs> Ken says, Yes, my back can get very angry. <laughs> can I help you? Uh -huh. Just because I'm having my lunch doesn't mean you've got to have a treat. Uh, well, yeah. No, no. Oh, no. You're a funny girl. There you go. You got some She does mama. for sure, Mama. And Clint says you're funny, Aunt Teresa. Well, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> Off my rocker? Yeah, maybe. Funny? I don't know. <laughs> it depends on who you're talking to. <laughs> you get my good sister in here, it's not going to be good. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on and join it. Does she watch us live? Uh, I think she has a couple times. I know TJ has my nephew. And he just okay. laughs. He goes, <laughs> he says, do you really act like, yeah. <laughs> I go, I see what I do with you. And he goes, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Dougie comes in too. Dougie's. I wonder what he's doing right now. Who? Who? Douglas. Who? Douglas. Oh, yeah, he hasn't come in yet. Shh, don't say it so loud. It goes to a holy hush when he goes in. I'm not, supposed, I'm not supposed to call him Douglas. I'm Doug. I'm Doug. It's, it's like the principal walked into your room, your classroom, and everybody's got to be good. <laughs> Or he comes in and talks about, he says, your fat dog in your <laughs> eyeball. I can't believe he says that. <laughs> He's always been cheeky. He's always been the cheeky one. <laughs> My sister Debbie is. Yeah. She, she's really quick-witted like Kathy. I mean, yeah. quick-witted. And she'll rut row me and she'll. <laughs> it's so bad. Yeah. But she's so comical, I'm telling you. Oh, uh, dear. Where's her? Uh -oh. All right. Oh, dear. I've got to go and get that. Mm, that's a big number. So we got a tutorial on how to fix a bobbin, right? 
Yep, yeah, that's finished. That was a quick one. Yeah. <laughs> the answer was that was thread it right, Diane. Thread it right. <laughs> So sometimes my bobbin, I don't know, like if I try to sew too fast, all the thread on the bottom comes up. You know, a lot of thread comes out. Yeah. yeah. No. Let me just pop in the other room and get my um, black and white. Black. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Your gray quilt. Yeah. Just put those down there for now. I need that space. Right. Let's go and get the quilt clipper. Well, what causes that? I know it's like if I sew slower, Kathy, um, I don't get that wadding of the thread on the back. She going to tell me slow, <laughs> sew slower. Bring the ironing board too. So I don't know unless the bobbin just can't keep up with the speed. See, I know she's going to tell me slow down, lead foot. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. right. Yeah, that might help. <laughs> Right, that's how it's set up. I did so make me a duvet um, two summers ago. Wow. So, what have we got here? That wasn't thrilling, was it? Hey. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Across. I want one that goes up first. I like the colors. Yeah, that's that one. Uh, Kathy says, uh, I'm guilty of speeding also. <laughs> I think we all are when we get a straight line, aren't we? Well, I, I did notice one thing. Um, I kept hearing a clank, 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 clank. I realized my needle was bent. <laughs> 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 mm. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah. That's that, that, that. Oh, right. Oh, where have you all dropped down to? You all dropped down the bottom there. There you are. And Clint says, I don't speed on my machine. Oh, no. Right, yeah. you'd probably rather watch the sewing than me. And Kathy says, so pretty, Dad. I. Thank you, Kathy. Mm. Oh, let me do this. Kathy says, like being on the open road, nobody around, pedal to the metal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. I got called up for speeding once I went to see Douglas in Alex. And I'd only just had my car. And this cop car's coming up behind me, and I'm thinking, oh, I better pull over and let him pass. But he didn't. He pulled up next to me. <laughs> and I said, oh. He said, do you realise you were speeding? I said, oh, was I? <laughs> he says, do you have an excuse, ma'am? I said, well, no, I only just got this car. It's new to me. And he pointed at the... Um, 
speedometer and he says that man records your speed could you please keep an eye on it <laughs> <laughs> and he says you were actually going that fast i should take your keys off you but for when i put it on the form i'll drop it down 10k so that you don't get in trouble <laughs> <laughs> so you can keep your keys i said oh thank you <laughs> So as he was writing the ticket out, I do what I do. If ever I do, a couple of times I've been pulled over. As the other cars are going past, I wave and smile at them. <laughs> I don't sit there and think, oh my God. There we go. I've never gotten a speeding ticket. I did get pulled over, though. Um, I was 16, didn't have a license. Oh. And, matter of fact, it was up the road here. And it was Ohio State Patrol. And a friend of mine was in the passenger side. And I'm like, oh, I'm in trouble. I don't have my license yet. Well, the only <laughs> thing he pulled me over, I know, they all... Oh, I wouldn't have been able to get my license if he'd if he'd asked, but he didn't ask. The only oh. thing he told me was my left turn signal was out. <laughs> and I said, well, I'll get that taken care of right away. He says, okay, be about your way and just get that fixed. I'm like, oh, wow. Because I, I, they wouldn't let me get my license or anything if he did. <laughs> oh, it's Martha here. No, I seen her say Martha, Martha. I think she's calling out to her, maybe. Oh, right. Martha, Martha, Martha. Hmm. I don't belong there, but never mind. I don't. <laughs> We can't see what you're doing, Miss Dadai. Can't you? Yep. I can. I can. <laughs> okay. Let's see what I can do with this bloody camera. There you go. <laughs> so how's your threads on the back? Fine. Perfect. Perfect. Yes, that's right, that's right. That was that's a cross. That's, oh I'm confusing myself. Let's do this. What's that gold piece for? Thread catch up. Oh, okay. You told me about that. Yeah. All my others are in the other room, so I have to make a new one. It makes sense. It does. I quite like the idea. Ruby's idea has shown me that. She saw it somewhere else, I think. Do you know what I did? Hey? Do you know what I did? What did you do? Okay, you know that we are memory keepers, those uh, hand punches, those yeah. toppers. I bought one, the white ones, that's, that has the angles. Yeah. I can't find it. Uh. And I, I just bought it not too long, well, before the pandemic. Hmm. Uh. Hey, have you decided what you're going to be giving away yet if we do this? Um, um well, the first round I could think of okay, like I have paper kits, um, I have the small die cutting machines that's uh, 
the kind that runs by battery and electric and then I have the small ones through tattered lace that are hand cranked and then I have like collections of paper from different people from I like Kanban um what's it Kaiser Craft um oh, yeah. I'm telling you, trickle. It's in boxes going all the way up the stairwell. <laughs> and then, like, I got big packs of craft paper, uh, black, um, all kinds of novelty um, collections. Yeah. But see, a lot of them I bought like two and three of. Who needs two and three? Well, I don't know. Well, some needs two, but nobody needs three. <laughs> no. Except Teresa. No, it was an accident because I didn't realize <laughs> I bought it because I didn't pay attention to what I bought. <laughs> uh, I need to just Teresa, you quit paper crafting. Uh, no, it's I... I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> she hasn't started yet. She's still buying the equipment. <laughs> well, no, I have started. I have started. I did that book. I was going to... Miss Starlight! You're so bad. <laughs> I haven't started on anything that's in the boxes, no. <laughs> um, but I did make Never mind. You, you just make me ashamed of myself. Stuff in my boxes. <laughs> they, they ain't got to worry about nothing. I mean, they're still sealed. Yeah. It just, I didn't write down when I bought something. Right. Shall we put out the first question? Um, I was watching videos last night trying to think of one. What about that one I said yesterday? I don't know if it'd be too easy. Second part of it won't be. We could give them that they've got to have both parts. I still think one will grab it right away. Just, I mean, if they know, whatever we do, there's going to be somebody who knows it. <laughs> what? Yeah, but I don't want it to be obvious. But the second part, they won't. But anyway, I think of another one. See, Anita has the same problem I do. She never writes down what she ordered. Yeah. I started doing that, but that was after I had two and three or five little die cutting machines that's handheld. There's five just the little battery operated ones. Um, I got a Tato that does it all and it foils and it I mean it's still in the, never mind it's still in the plastic. <laughs> Um, I got Spellbinders, hand crate. When they came out with the Sapphire. Um, the go the, I got, I think, three of the Go Press and Foils. I can't tell you how many duplicates of dies, metal dies I have, and stamps. I don't have duplicates, but I have a hell of a lot that I don't want anymore. I can't do anything to with this at the moment. You can't stuff. You can't. Well, you can order off trading, but you can't have the stuff until lockdown is gone. Uh. Uh, you, you know, yeah, but a lot of my stuff I bought from Crete and Craft because I went on a spending spree for what them three years. Mm. 
they even called me up when I quit shopping. I go, oh, we want to see how you was doing. Make sure your health was good. Because <laughs> I became my friend. You know, they just knew who I was as soon as I called it. And, oh, what can we do for you today? I'm like, okay, I want this and this and this. But, you know, they didn't look on there. And they could see clearly I had bought it before. <laughs> well, they should, shouldn't they? When well, you're ready to buy that. They didn't care. They just wanted your money. Well, they did call me. I guess... What was it last summer I told you? They gave me a call to see how I was doing. Yes, Teresa's got her own shop. <laughs> Teresa's Treasures. It's gold. Isn't it, Teresa? Well, it's not looking like a treasure right now. I mean, it, it's looking like a stacked up. <laughs> it's like a warehouse. <laughs> Oh, oh, and Leroy went in there. I came downstairs, and I know you notice when something's different. <laughs> he had moved some of my stuff. I go, now you realize when you put that box in there, you're putting weight on something else. He goes, I got to get some of this moved. Well, then I go into the kitchen and make my coffee, and I go, you put stuff on top of stamps. You can't. <laughs> he says, woman, I got to get around here. A few of them was empty boxes. <laughs> my sister will tell you bless her heart when she came here and told me about Tony she came in and she goes oh my word <laughs> I'm like have a seat let's make something Teresa like, <laughs> is, is a hoarder but there's a difference no, don't you call me no hoarder Shut up. There's a t difference with Teresa's hoarding. All hers is good stuff, unused, <laughs> not just rubbish at the second hand shop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I did buy it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because Leroy calls me. No, Leroy, don't call me a hoarder. You're a kleptomaniac. <laughs> I don't steal nothing. <laughs> They don't have to steal to be a kleptomaniac. Are you saying collect? Kleptomaniac? Collect. Oh, collect. Yeah. Oh, I thought you was calling me the other one. No, a kleptomaniac. Uh, yeah, by accident. <laughs> uh, Clint says he may know some answers of crafting. We'll get with Clint. Um, no, a lot of it was accidental. Because then when I was trying to organize and everything, then I, you know, you put everything on the floor, and then I realized I had bought. Because when you put it away, you don't realize you bought it. And then next thing I know, I'm buying it again. And <laughs> Right. Now I clearly write down what I buy now. She's learned her lesson at long last after three years. Well, yeah, because now I can't find, and I know I bought that handheld that chopper. I'm about to lose control. But see, then again, okay, I, like I got fabrics. Um, I got vintage fabrics, but I mean, they look new. Yeah. Because I never used them. <laughs> <laughs> That they've never seen the light of day. <laughs> Things. It's called fabric abuse. Uh, it says the woman just started sewing how long ago? 
Oh, I didn't have all the fabrics. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> This is it. I said I was just going to use what Mary gives me and nothing else. And I went and bought all this lot. Oh no, some of it was there, wasn't it? Oh, I got itchy back. Uh, Kathy said that's a good one. I can start telling my hubby. Oh, I bought that on accident. Boy. <laughs> 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 but he don't care anyway. Well, Leroy don't care either. He just don't like... <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's just his job to go to the door when the postman comes. <laughs> yeah, it's a feel like we're so. <laughs> He's part of the delivery service. Yeah, when the mailman or UPS pulls up, it's like, I like when I got them carts. Uh, well, a couple of weeks ago, he's like, "Where are you going to put it?" <laughs> I go, "Well, you going to put it together, and I'm gonna put one back here in the office." <laughs> But everything I buy, he does go, well, where are you going to put it? I just go. Rrr, rrr, rrr. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so, it's so cute, though, to watch you walk through. <laughs> it's like an obstacle course. <laughs> I have fabric out the rear. I had a bunch. Then I got my mom's and my mother-in-law's on. So she has the collection of fabric. Well, my mother in law didn't sew full stop. <laughs> Mom, Mom had given up sewing years before. My mother was one that she'd got things. And mum used to want to have different... There we go. Hi, Doug. <laughs> Ugly cat. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> okay, everybody be quiet. <laughs> yeah, Doug is there. <laughs> Douglas has arrived. <laughs> All behaved girls. Just tell them what a wonderful lady his mother is. <laughs> Claire says, I have no fabric whatsoever. I use them for my dolls I made. <laughs> well, it must have some best of my... And he says, I took my mother-in-law's huge cabinet and put it all in it. Wow. And uh, <laughs> I won't mention the fat dog. <laughs> 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 uh, <yeah. laughs> Douglas, I just went to order a desk from Warehouse. $39 a desk was, and they wanted $60 to deliver it. Bloody cheek. Of course, I didn't get it. Wow, that's a lot to deliver. That was disgusting. More than the desk calls. How far is that place from you? It's only a flat pack desk thing. It was. Uh, they're just. Um, they're just. Um, Making money out of this one. I can't. I'm going to report them to the government. Price gouging, gorging, whatever they're doing. Yeah. What burns a hole? No. I can burn the hole. I need one. I mean, it says poor Pepper. Yeah, he <laughs> abuses her. Pippa. They'll be open next week, he says. Yeah, well, that's what I thought, Doug. I'll get someone to go and get it for me. And Claire says I have fabric and storage, though. Damn. 
And Laura says, yeah, it is. Maybe they're using an outside contractor. Oh, that's a lot of money to deliver when it's double the price. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. 30, 60. Yeah, double the price. So your your places are going to start opening up next week, Miss Dari? Uh, she's talking of it next week. We'll go into Zone Three. That wasn't really straight. I'll do it again. Which means that um, places like the warehouse and that can open up again. It won't mean I can do any more. The oldies are locked up forever, I think. <laughs> they're going to throw us away. Uh, Nikki because says, I think they will extend level four. I think they Not here, they won't. You might, but not in New Zealand. Because we're doing it all right. I thought Nikki was from where you're at. I think they've extended it in America, haven't they? Is Nikki in America? I think so. That's the Nikki I'm thinking of. They can do takeaways, the um, restaurants, though, can't they? They're going to let them do takeaways. Uh, Jesus, no, only restaurant and bars from here. Not yeah. anything else. But they are going to let them. Nikki says she's in New Zealand. Pardon? Unless she's pulling my legs, she goes, oh, I'm in New Zealand. Oh, it's that Nikki. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Nikki. They're not going to stand that. I know what you're worried about. Yeah, you know, it's also going to be locked up for the rest of our life. That I'll open will be dead by the time. <laughs> well, they could bring stuff to you. Yes, they can. Yeah, yeah, they can now. I mean, for grocery shopping, if I want odd things, I tell the kids and they bring it. So what I wanted this morning, they didn't have. I didn't think they would. I wanted a fresh cooked chicken because I like them, but they're not cooking at the moment. I'm sort of in the same boat as you. I mean, uh, my health is compromised, so they don't want me out, you know, out and about or nobody no. near me like that. No. And we're not getting it confirmed till Monday because uh, she's just telling us what will happen if we go into level three. I still haven't said the man who died in Invercargill. The papers are telling us he died from the virus. The government's not including him. Um, Anita said they extended hours until May 3rd. We don't even have that many cases around us. Oh. And she said, anyway, it's not confirmed in till Monday, yeah. Yeah. She told us yesterday what sort of things will happen in level three, but she says don't get excited because they will not make the decision till Monday. And Nikki says there's a lot of planning for level three, and Doug wrote he was in the wedding in Bluff. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop it, Douglas. Stop it. And Nikki says that's why I think they will extend. If you was at the wedding at Bluff, why didn't you come and see me? Because <laughs> you are locked now. He says, I only go to the doctor or dollar general and grocery so it really so it's really no difference for her same here and you um doug says no the guy who died at home 
Yeah, the guy who died at home was at the wedding at Bluff, yes. But they hadn't, still haven't said, the government still haven't said that he died of the virus. They haven't included him in the numbers. Yeah. And then she wrote, and I agree with her, uh, she goes, stuff that. Hope they know what they're doing. Just saying. Yeah, because our, well, I don't want to get into that, because but they had a press thing and I think they're just moving I know people need to get back to work I know that with all my heart but I don't know that's a double edged sword isn't it yeah it's I, I think he's going to let people know like certain states that they can go ahead and just do whatever they wanted. I don't know. I'm speechless when it comes to that. Well, it's just it just stinks. It's going to go on for a long time yet. Uh, Doug said it didn't help. It didn't help me at the wedding. Mm -hmm. Most of the time. Worsened by the virus. That's right. You don't die of COVID-19. Some do, don't they? Uh, no need. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, eight of those. But you've only got to have the slightest thing wrong with you, and you're listed as you can get it at worst. One, two. Great. Well, I do know here, um, sometimes like if people, it could be pneumonia or a heart attack or something, they'll still list them as a COVID-19 death. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's right. That's not doing the numbers right. No. Um, no. Oh, no. I don't know. That's the one thing I keep doing when I get start and get down about it. I think you ain't the only one dying. Join the rest of the world. Join yeah, because you feel for everybody. And I, I just couldn't imagine how many people it, that it would have. Um, I would be affected by. Like, okay, I know you, and I know Jude, you know, there's Martha, there's Ruby, okay, uh, there's, Can you know, Canada, there's yeah. people I know that's in the UK, and, uh, people that we've met, you know, it's in Australia, I mean, all over. Yeah. And all those we know in the United States. If they open the bubble up next week, I'm hoping that they open it up for us as well so I can go around and see Mary. She's really getting her down. And he says exactly. And Kathy says, be right back. Okay, okay. But I know when this is all over, I'll just remember what brought the worst and the best out of people. 
I've seen a lot of good. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And people banding together, trying to keep people on, you know, YouTube like yourself and Ruby. Yeah. And there's others on there. Um, th there's a lot of others on there. Life is bloody short without drama. No, I just, no. Um, what I've been telling everybody for a long time since I've got to the age I'm at, I ain't got time for that. I gotta live each day, and enjoy it. Uh, anyways, anyway. Uh, I think if we hadn't met, you know, so many people, like, you know, YouTubers, because there's, there's a few I watch, like, I know certain ones when they come on, and it yeah. just, they, they really, truly, they do help. They yeah. may not think they do, but they do. I mean, it helps me that I can come on live and speak to all you people, because, you know, I'm completely on my own. But, um... I appreciate having the time to spend with everybody. And then I'll just shoot you up, off when I've had enough of you and go, go home. <laughs> and you do it. You've done it to me. <laughs> okay, I've had enough of you, Teresa. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye, Teresa. You could drop a call. Shut up, Teresa. <laughs> I'm going. Bye. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't cut these squares really good. Then I see people making efforts, and yeah, you, know, you really want to help them all. Yeah, That's something to make something easier for them. I know what I didn't do, I didn't press that one first. Yes, I do. If I'm not on here, I'm watching YouTube. I the telly's on, but I'm hardly watching the telly. It's more YouTube. The people I know on YouTube, I'm watching. Are you responding to Ania? Sorry? Are you yeah. responding? Okay, yeah. great. Yes. It's really not a whole lot different for me and Leroy, except for when Leroy has to go to the store and, you know, he stays in the car and, you know, they bring out the groceries. But, um, but when you're told and then it's around the world, you know, you're told you, you can't do this or you... Yeah. Watch the above Central Targo YouTube channel to forget about nasty shite. Yes, go to my son's YouTube channel called Above Central Targo. He did some beautiful drone work about where we used to live in New Zealand. Beautiful, beautiful country. Go and watch his videos. Okay, right. It's just... It has some beautiful shots up there. That's where we used to live. Both Doug and I prefer this. That's where we both love the place. Don't we, Doug? This place in the world. Well, New Zealand is just beautiful anyway. Uh, I said New Zealand is beautiful. Excuse anyway. me, do you see what he's saying? 
What? Not as boring as quilting, Tat. Oh, dear. Don't go and watch his pictures. He's no, they're no good. My quilting's better than his. <laughs> okay, well, he got the dog and the cat. Now he's getting his mama. <laughs> <laughs> You did say you would be next. <laughs> and you've got some posh men you need to go and watch instead of me. <laughs> oh, take that off there. Was your knicker, yeah? We were Alexandra. Loved it. But things change. Is it Doug? Being out of town. Oh. No, Jackie wouldn't like go to town. There's not enough shops. I need it's a rotten children joke. <laughs> <laughs> that would be about you, Doug. <laughs> yeah, it is nice up in Central because you can, you get a gold pan, you go out in the hills and go, go gold mining. What we used to do at weekends. Take the kids down by the Clutha River and do gold panning and Yeah, when was, was the days? Well, okay, Kathy, thanks for coming in. Take care. Yes, bye, Kathy. I hope it's, I'll see you tomorrow if Ruby's on. And you stay safe too. Ruby didn't go on today. Uh, Doug says houses are about to be real cheap in Lake Area. Uh, Queenstown collapsing because of no tourists. Oh, okay. Well, get one with the granny flat, will you? <laughs> And I'll bring the sewing machine and everything up there and sit quietly. You sit quietly. <laughs> yes, but Queenstown will collapse. That's all it depends on is tourists. And they've gone. And we aren't opening up our borders for quite some time. Just because it's going right here, we won't be opening the borders till the world's come right. I don't blame you. Uh, yeah. You're ready to pounce. Good on you, Dad. My son plans ahead and watches and waits. Thank you, Dad. Oh, it's just a problem when you survive on tourism. It is. You should always have another bow, string to your bow. Shouldn't you? Yeah, just, uh, look at Florida, you know, all the attractions that's there. In Tennessee, all the attractions there. You can't go. Most countries just avoid, rely on tourism now. Because people have been able to travel so easily. But for a few years now, it's going to stop and people are going to go bust in that time. Yeah. Ain't that right, dog? I'm listening to you. My boy tells me. Don't you, dog? He says he's waiting on his inheritance. <laughs> <laughs> on either side. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> You've been written out the one and I got out. <laughs> oh, Douglas. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> oh dear. You said hobbies. Dad still has claims in the car while way back. Yeah. Mm. We used to go poaching other people's gold mines. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty neat, though, isn't it? We we went gold mining once. We went up the hills down the, at the back of Alex once, and we came upon a gold mine. Somebody's gold mine. It was all pegged out. And there's nobody up there. So, my ex took things up there, buckets and things, and he brought all the dirt back because there was no water up there to pan it. And he brought it all down and panned it all in my laundry sink. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Didn't find anything. We found dirt. No. Uh, Nikki says, I'm spending my kids' inheritance. <laughs> Nikki, I've already done it. That's Doug. Anita says, he wants your sewing machine, Dad. I. Doug. Anita says that Doug wants your sewing machine. Oh, my God. <laughs> God, I don't think I had of any value. I've already given it to him. Wasn't a lot, but. And Nikki said gold is a good investment. <laughs> and that's what I've given. Dougie knows all about gold. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> that's, just, that's to the sewing machine he's saying that <laughs> he said I'd probably end up with the fat dog in a green cat <laughs> oh dear <laughs> oh god <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm not looking down at the tent no more. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Jesus, laugh out loud. I don't know, Douglas. <sighs> Good job I love you or else I'd have to disown you. <laughs> right. Here we go. Uh, Jude says, nope. That ugly cat is mine. Saved your life. <laughs> and Nina says, I don't have any kids, so I'm spending all we got. I don't have any kids either. There's Lilybug and Miss mm. uh, Dye get something. Um, <laughs> I'll be long gone. <laughs> oh, please. You don't know my health. Um, uh, my sister right below me. Well, I call her my good sister. Uh, no, I don't have any kids. Leroy has a son. But I'll just pass his guitars on to him. Yeah. But he don't play guitar. He he went to college to 
he does television and um uh oh i, I don't know why things escape me uh reviews on movies and he does plays um uh, he's in play you know yeah but he didn't pick up music And I don't think anybody would want my harmony. They, they may want my hummingbird. I got a black um, Epson hummingbird. Acoustic guitar. But I won't. I won't play it, or I won't let Leroy play it because I'm afraid you'll scratch up the <laughs> the, the finish. <laughs> it's still in the box. <laughs> Uh, not really in the box. It's in a uh, guitar case. We well, did buy me a great uh, uh, Epiphone bass. Look, we're in the middle of a pandemic and we're talking about inheritance. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Kristen says, hey, Dodi. Oh, hi, Kristen. Welcome. You missed the exciting bit at the beginning when I had to repair my machine before I could use it. <laughs> going to get dark here. It's going to start and rain, I reckon. Uh, she says, um, oh, Nan says hello. Oh, hi, Nan. Welcome. Uh, hello, Nan. Uh, she says that machine don't hum like the old beauty. No, it doesn't, Jude. The other one does just hum along. I'll give you that. Yeah, they do sound different. I wish I knew a carpenter, though, that could sink the machines into a table. Like that one in the other room could be sunk down into that table. Well, I don't, so it won't. Right. Here we go. The top here. Not too bad. 
10, not too bad. Let's just say I haven't thrown it out the window yet. I think this will be just about halfway for what I'm going to do, the size I'm going to do it. Which is good. See how the red's going on on this way. She sends a lot of good work, I see. Yeah, I've got my so I'm all confused here now. That, 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 that. Douglas has been looking for you, kitty cat. He has. Yeah. Uh, she said, pulled out Grant's old treadle machine, pulled her and gave her a good going over and runs perfectly. No electricity needed. Uh, he's beautiful. Oh. Yes, you wouldn't need electricity for that, would you, do? <coughs> what? What? <coughs> Excuse me. Since I'm not selling it either, Gary said nope. Built in 1918 and still has a shiny tag on her. My bitch, she has. They built them in them days. Um, Anita says, my babies got their eyes open today. Oh, right. Yeah, you've got some um, puppies, isn't it? Oh, okay. Yes, kitties. Kitties. Oh, you got kitties. Yeah. You guys, that's that mouth thing. Take one, Jim. I'm gonna bring Leroy in here so he can interpret what I say. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, dear. Leroy's got all his own cats. He feeds the cats in the neighborhood. He does. He was out there investigating today. He goes, there's no way them cats could have pulled that bowl up. He says, I think it was a raccoon. So he sat out there and scouted to oh. make sure raccoons weren't stealing their food. Oh, the end fell off my pen. Right. Like here. This one out. <laughs> uh, he responded to Anita and says, Awesome, Anita. Douglas will take one. Laugh my bottle. 
Does, does Dougie have um no. no. He oh he doesn't need to he takes um he loves Bruce. His grandbaby dog. <laughs> okay. And Bruce loves him to bits. As soon as Dougie arrives, that's it. You could when I was up there, Jackie says, stand by the door, she says, but don't expect him to stop. And Jackie and I were first in the queue to go in. And he ran straight past me and Jackie out to Doug. <laughs> yeah. didn't, want, didn't want to say hello to us. Get out of the way, women. Let me go and see Doug. Uh, let's see. I knew this possum will steal cat food also. Ugh. Yeah, we have them out here too. Oh, I need to leave right. Because they hide over there, you know, because you see my house. So, you know, there's a church across the street. Yeah. They hide under that ramp, that uh, wheelchair ramp. Yeah. I'll have to tell them about that. If I make any mistakes in this, I'll have to tell Kitty Cat when he gets on the bed. Lie on that bit there. This pedal keeps struggling away from me. She must be going for a walk. <sighs> Possums are lovely. So you'll be able to work on that in both rooms, won't you? Yeah. Well. Ouch. Let's see it. I'll be able to do a bit of quilting. I might have to make myself um, another little ironing board to have one in each room. Oh. I finished off the um, farmer's quilt square that I was doing this morning while I was watching the news. Ouch! Uh, Nan is asking the question, uh, anyone have crafts they're working on? Uh, I'm working on dangles, making my own dangles. Dingle dangle. With somebody's name on it. I didn't think he was making dangles. Whoops. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the, uh, how they hook them on the spine of the book. Oh, yeah. I, uh, my sister calls them dangles, so I call them dangles. Yeah, they are done. Oh, come on, you bloody stupid pedal. And then I got my my camera charged. Um, so I can send you a picture of the faux book I made. Oh, yeah. Um. Well, I made two sizes. Nikki's painting the butterfly. Nikki's a good artist, aren't you, Nikki? Thank you. 
Ow! It's another pin that the bloody head's gone. Oh, it's not. It's gone in the wrong way. I hate pins. They always bloody sticking me. So do you keep that gold piece of fabric in there until you get ready to sew another piece? Yeah. Yeah, there's one always left on the machine. And then you just bun it up, your piece that you're going to sew, bun it up against that and sew? Yeah, you bring it up just against it, and it stops all when you stitch is sometimes bird nest, Ruby calls it. She calls it what? Bird nest. When your stitches tend to bird nest underneath when you first start. That's what I was talking about um, to Kathy, that I get that bird nest in the back. Yeah, I think everybody does. And that's why Ruby puts a piece that piece in first before you sew and then have another one to put in at the end so you've always got a piece in there. And that's what it stops. Stops the bird nesting. Look at my coffee sitting there. I haven't drank it. I've been that engrossed in what I'm doing. Here we go, a waffling. <laughs> now I know what waffling means. Three diamond paints, two regular diamond paints, and diamond painting bookmark, crusted and felting skull. Wow. I know I told you she was doing a lot. And had my diamond paints out, diamond dots out for a long time. Let me move that cup of coffee because I can see it going. I have to warm that up again to drink that. Because I didn't drink it. Whoa, that one's way off. Right, kick up your sit there when you sit. On that one there, okay, okay. Oh. And then Anita's doing diamond painting. Yeah. I should be doing with my one with my animals I got done. I started it. Oh, Harvey gave that to Buddy. Oh my god, and the sheep put the dog on my side. <laughs> I think with all this lockdown, we are the lucky ones being crafters and having something to do. All them people that never do anything like that suddenly don't know what to do. Yeah, that's why I'm getting all these boxes. I hate that three-letter word. <laughs> He, he's trying to get me, you know, what I bought too many of and everything and then put everything I'm getting rid of 
in one area, then I know what to. I mean, I already know a few things I'll send out for prizes, but. Yeah. We can go on for Christmas, probably. Oh, that looks so pretty there. One, two, three, four. Yeah, halfway. halfway. Yeah, it's just so pretty, Dada. Thank you, Ned. <laughs> Now that I know I've got all that beautiful stuff coming from Laura, I've got to get this finished. <laughs> That's a blessing, wasn't it? Oh. Mind you, it'll probably take weeks. It depends whether our borders open for taking taking stuff in like that. Ian says you're welcome. Thank you, Nan. Yeah, I think our border. Uh, it might be open next week because it's um, if they're going to ease things they might be letting the imports in again I don't know I just don't know I just don't know. Oh, God, that's what I put in. Are you checking it again? You know, you checked it an hour ago. What for? To see if it moved. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I haven't checked that yet. <laughs> no, I haven't checked that yet. <laughs> that was so cheeky. <laughs> I thought it would. <laughs> oh dear. No wrong. I like to do this in time. Right. So, what's the time? I don't I haven't even got my watch on. Um oh, who's gonna Uh oh, the captain. The captain. See him out, Pippa. Get rid of him. That black cat ain't gonna hurt Pippa, is it? No, not likely. Go again, Pippa. <laughs> You're gonna get him. Um, Nan says, Hubby and I received our money from our government for the COVID-19 supplement. What, what do you, I don't mean to be nosy, but where do you live? Is that because you have a business as well, isn't it? They give money. Is that for being out of work? Oh, I hate to ask personal questions. I'll ask her later. Yeah. Because that could be for many reasons. I know people have had to shut their businesses for a while. Have been getting it. Yeah, people, you know, they had to let loose employees and 
Yeah. Oh, she lives in Minnesota. Oh, wow, she did get hers quick. It's for everyone. Everyone get money off them. Yeah, we, we, we all get it, but they're letting it. Um, different segments, like for the people that's out of work or businesses, and yeah. uh, then people that's on uh, Social Security, SSI. It, it, you know, it, it's different phases. Right. What they've done here for the people at the superannuitants is we usually get at the moment now we're getting $20 a week for our power and they've upped it to $40 a week. Wow. They, they was talking about, oh, in the news somewhere, I don't know if it's true, so, you know, don't, don't hold me to it, but um, the... I guess the Democrat side is fighting for they they want to give each individual twenty four hundred and not you know for the second round. I think that's the phase four. You know the second round. Yeah. Um, they want to give them twenty four hundred. Right. I know. I don't spend. You don't have to pay it back. Oh, that's good. That uh, is good. Nikki says, I heard it was a loan. Nan says, it's a stimulus money. Uh, no problem. It's for everyone. Uh, yes, we're on SSI. Good for you, Nan. I'm so glad they got it to you, being SSI. Because they were one of them that was on the list that they were just going to wait, you know, uh, till next week or the week after. Yeah. So I'm so I'm happy for you, Nan. Cool. And she said we each received the twelve hundred. Bless her. I am so happy for her. Good. Yeah, because uh, the way they was doing the SSI, I didn't. I didn't like how they were handling because it's still. Uh, to me, it's still a disability. You can, you cannot work. Yeah. Um, and it's due to health problems, but then they call it SSI and not disability. Well, don't punish them because they're on SSI, and then they got to wait till the next round of checks come. Out. No, I am so happy for her. Oh, yeah. Nana, I am so happy for you. I don't know. It's one big mess, isn't it? One big mess. Yeah, but uh, Miss Lana, they're only giving back our money that we gave. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. Help out to people that paid into it for all them years. Mister Lily did. My mama, my my mama, uh, yeah. she did. You know, uh, my dad when he did work. Oh, uh, we won't go there. Uh, Leroy, <laughs> you know, the years that I did work. Yeah. I mean, we paid into it, and I am so happy for Nan. I'm telling you, I'm getting all choked up. Because, no. you know, you worry about the people that was on SSI, and they wound up. Yeah. And it wasn't right the way they was going to originally do it. I am so happy for her. Good. It brings a lump to my throat. So they've done something right. Great. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Yeah. Nan, it is a disability. But then they wanted to put it in a different category. I'm like, it's still a disability. Why are you putting it in a different category? Yeah. And then they said on our news, they done spent all the was the unemployment money, Nan? Um, and they're trying to go back to get more. And that's when the Democrats said they wanted to do a $2,400 next time for each individual. Yeah. So I, I don't know.
Oh, you're welcome, Nan. Yeah, see, she's on disability income. Yep. So, uh, with New Zealand, Ms. Dadai, so uh, the people that's been out of work and everything, okay, you said they, they're helping you with your electric or your utility. Oh, this is just for superannuitants. Superannuitants, old age pension, you know, pensioners. We get um, from May till the 1st of October. It's, it's a new thing came in last year or the year before, might be last year, that they were going to be paying us $20 a week towards our energy bills, heating bills. Okay. And then this year, because of what's happening now, they've upped it to $40 a week just for this year to help out with power bills. Right. Yes, it's uh, so they are, are they going to help those that you know were unemployed not due to their own fault? And oh, yes, they're helping the rest of the sector. Yes, they are. I'm so uh, glad to hear that. Yeah, they're um. I don't know how it works because you know, not being there. Yeah, but they're but they're Douglas not. Gonna... Knows, but Douglas is still working because he's worked. See, a lot of people. It's for the people who can't work from home. They have put something out. Yes. That have had to, you know, leave work completely for a while. Some of them don't even know if they're going to be getting back to work. Um, Kristen says she has SSI and SSA. Um, have you received anything, Kristen? I'm not trying to be nosy. You don't have to answer if you don't want to. Um, and Nan says hubby is on SSI and his pension from 3M. Wow, that's one of the companies that's supposed to be helping us. Um, you know, get, get things back together. Yeah. So you work for a good, I mean, a well-known company. It's a lot of the small business, isn't that, that's going to go out here. That's what I'm afraid, afraid of, is the small business. Yeah. It is. But they don't got GM, I think in I forget the state, but they got them building the respirators or Oh yeah. Um I don't know. The the whole world's turned upside down. Certainly has. Uh Kristen Kristen hasn't received hers not yet. Uh, Nikki says, I'm an essential worker. Oh, bless her heart. I'm an essential worker, but my hours have dropped to 10 a week. I get no assistance because I'm not on a guaranteed contract. Oh, I don't think that's right. If you're an essential worker, uh, I know they were talking about giving all them essential workers that uh, more or less, you know, they just put their life on the line, just to keep going. Yeah, uh, they're supposed to be sending out bonuses and special things for uh, people like Nikki and oh my goodness! Yeah, Nan said he worked in a pharmaceuticals and research and development. Wow, Nan. Anita says I'm on disability. Is that SSI? Uh, SSI is supplemental income. It's a form of disability, but what they do is they, like, they check you so often, they're not sure, you know. 
where if they have you on disability, you can go like three to five years before you have to reevaluate or. Yeah. Hey, 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 what you doing to slow down for? I don't like that slow down noise. You should be up there. Oh, that's right. Nikki's in New Zealand, isn't she? My friend Nancy, who lives opposite me here, she's lost a cousin in Scotland to the virus today. Oh, no. Only in the 50s. Wow. Yeah. Uh, well, you tell I'm very sorry. Yeah. Uh, Jude's the right one to give Nikki advice. Because Jude knows about that. Yeah. said that's sad that I it is it's um I said to Nancy I said it probably brings it home to you more now and she did it yes Oh, here it's gonna persist down in a minute, I reckon. Stop. Because I'm getting all excited because I've nearly done all this, but of course the hard part starts then. All the batting and the quilting. Yeah, in actual fact, I can't do that until I've sent for. Um, I'm getting a grey sheet for the back, obviously. It's cheaper to buy a sheet. 
Plus, it'd be pretty. It'll have a flannel at side so that will stop it slipping as well. Uh, I'm going to wait for that to come. Cheaper. It was only $24 for the whole two sheets. So there'd be enough to do left over for other stuff as well. But when it comes, apparently, I've got to wash it and put it through a dryer, which I haven't got. My dryer broke. So I'll have to send it back my daughters or something to get dry. Because <laughs> you've got to shrink them. Uh, Nan says, I'm excited for you, Dado. Yeah. I was going to say the light on your sewing machine was getting brighter and brighter. <laughs> right now, I can see now. I hate dull lights. People go around my house switching lights off and I go back behind them switching them back on. That's what I do. I keep lights on. Leroy goes behind me and turns this whole hall full light. I don't like a dark house and I don't like it quiet. That's why my um, telly goes on as soon as I get up in the morning. I don't go off till I go to bed at night. Even if I go out, I'll leave it on. Um, she says, okay, I gotta run. Catch you both later. Bye, everyone. Bye, Jude. Bye, Jude. Stay safe. Is it Jude who's going? Yes, she said. Yeah. She says, I got to run. Well, yeah, time for her to go to work again. She's a walking lady. Some more groceries coming out of Oh, do you? Yeah. Yes. I haven't even ordered our second batch yet. Oh, Leroy doesn't like to go. Well, I'm getting mine delivered. Well, they said they'll deliver. Oh, but uh, between nine and twelve, mine I guess here, so, uh, or nine thirty and twelve, something like. That. Between nine and twelve, you don't get up at nine. Well, I'm going to have to, aren't I? <laughs> and I'll open up my porch door so they can just drop them in there. Yeah, because they do that anyway, don't they? Well, last time she comes, she just left the house on the outer step. But I'll leave the porch door open so they can just step inside the porch and put them in there. Oh, we live in the Yeah, because that'd be breakfast for all them animals running around up there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure I'm up before 9.30. I might not be dressed. I'll still be in the bed again, but I'll be up. Oh, if anybody come to my door, or, well, they wouldn't, but if they did, and they look at me silly the way I look, I'll be like, what? What? There's a pandemic going on. What? I tell you what, I think there'll be a few in, in pajamas all day long. Yeah. 
they're I've more actually, comfortable. I've actually got pajama buttons on. I'm just at the top there. <laughs> so I got pajama pants on. But they're a plain denim colour, so they look like just sweatpants. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. No, comfort, I say. Comfort. And as I say, most people I know are saying they can't be bothered getting dressed at the moment. Oh. oh, I know why it's not doing this. I'll switch the bloody thing off. What did you do? Switch the iron off. Oh. <laughs> I'm wondering why it's not hot. I'm wondering why it's not hot. Here we go. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Sizzling, sizzling, sizzling. Yeah, that's it, Nan. Comfy top and <laughs> presentable if anybody knocks the doors. I say these, these pajama bottoms are just a plain denim colour, so they look just like lounging pants anyway. <laughs> Even when I was a tiny thing, I always wore clothes bigger. I didn't like tight fitting clothes. Oh no, me! I gotta relax. These people with the jeans—they just, you know, part of their skin. I think God, how can you be so comfortable? How can you be comfortable in them? They might look nice, but oh. No, my, my baby sister used to wear it sometimes. I said, you know, you can see where you live. <laughs> she <laughs> see it like, and she tell me, said, I was like, no. I said, you going to go out looking like that? I go, you leave nothing for the imagination there. <laughs> That's my baby sister. <laughs> I, I couldn't wear that. That be That would hurt. <laughs> Mind you, they do say you got to suffer to be beautiful, so you know maybe that's what they think. Uh, no, I'm not going to suffer that way. No, <laughs> but if we were having, <laughs> Mum used to do that. She used to put my hair when we were kids and say, "Hurt, it hurts." Do you want to be beautiful? You got to suffer, she said. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. One, two. And, and said, I was folding all my PJs today, and as I have stains on every pair from wearing them while crafting La Bella. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, they were, he washed my. Uh, I have this blue. It's turquoise. I love this, but it's got holes in it. <laughs> and I don't know where the. I, I think I know where they come from. When I was doing that book, that trinket thing. Oh yeah. Um, I kept wiping my hands on my pajama things here and on the pant part. <laughs> and when he washed them, it left holes. Man, that's a powerful glue. Yes. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake! Bloody. I think my foot pedal needs some Velcro on it. And it sticks to the carpet. I 
I do, I do. Okay, Nan, thanks for coming in. Take care. Oh, it's nice seeing you, Nan. Thank you. Thank you for being so kind. I'm so happy for you. At least I know they're starting to do something right. Yes. And then I hope everything gets situated with Nikki, you know. Yeah. Her being essential and, you know, taking down her hours. A lot of people struggling out there more so than what they used to. Yeah. Yeah, because it was a struggle anyway, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But when they need you the most, like that Nikki being a essential worker, uh, you know, same way over here, uh, they shouldn't be messed with. Um, because they're out there where we're not allowed to go. You know what I mean? That's right. That's why it touched me so much to see Ruby make all their masks. Yeah. And she didn't charge any of them. No. She certainly doesn't. I mean, for her, the frontliner, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think if some people ask for them that aren't frontliners, then she is charging a little bit, but very minimum. Right. Very, com compared to what some people are charging. Right. Uh, Pamela says hi, Dad. Hi. Oh, hi, Pamela. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was in Dixie. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh. Hey, on the banner. There's a nice banner. Oh. Got a little assembly line going there. Yeah. Um, Pamela is asking, are you making the farmer's wife quilt? I am, but this isn't it. This is one I'm doing as well as. This is one I'm doing for myself, for on my beard. I did some of the farmer's wife in the other room this morning. Because I'm posh now. I've got two machines going. <laughs> I've got a proper assembly line. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you going to do with the farmer's wife quilt? You're not going to... I don't know. I don't know, but I stipulated whoever gets it has got to have the book with it as well. It goes with the book. That'd be pretty cool because they could read the stories in it. Yeah. I mean, they might not want it. <laughs> but I'll make Douglas a jacket from it. <laughs> There you go. That's for his inheritance. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I would keep it. I mean, you worked hard on it, and <laughs> you got the book to go with it. Like, uh -huh. like you said, give him the cat and the dog. 
<laughs> uh, Pamela is asking what size quilt would this one be? Um, well, it's going to be eight squares by eight squares. So I won't know till it's finished. This is just going to fit on top of my bed, Pamela. I don't want one that drops down. Um, what, what size are your squares? They're ending up, uh, oh, I don't know. Um, how would I know? <laughs> Let's, Let's, have, a Let's say, have a look. <laughs> what, eight squares across, you said? Eight squares across and eight squares down. Right, they measure six by six like this. So they'll be five and a half by five and a half when they're finished. But they will have this batting going alongside as well, as alongside each one. So I don't know how you work that out. That starts to get complicated for me then. A coat of many colours. Yes, that's what I'll give him. See, my son with his coat of many colours. Oh, make a jacket for Douglas. That's cute, Anita. I like that. Coat of many colours. Actually, I bought it because that's one of Douglas's favourite musicals. Oh, is it? Yep. Yes. She came out with two of the little mini, like movie things. Uh, the coat of many colors, telling the story of when she was young and her mama made the coat. Hmm. Douglas wanted to. I think it was that one. Douglas wanted to put on at school. It was a straw. Concert one year and they wouldn't let him. It was either that or the Rocky Horror Picture Show. I can't remember. I think it was that Joseph and his coat because he had he's got well he's probably still got the full score to the whole show. <laughs> Douglas's taste in music is very widespread. That is good. I need to have a red one on either end. <laughs> Who'd believe when I went home to ask Mary for two pieces of material, 10 by 10, I'd end up doing all this. Yeah, you started making a bowl. Yeah, which I made. But. And you hated to sew. Well, it was Mary's fault. She gave me the whole bloody lot of the material, didn't she? I had to have it all. But. Uh I was talking to her the other day. She says, I ought to be doing things. She says, I want to do all my, the cupboards in the, go and do more in the cupboards in the bedroom. She says, but I need someone to help me. And I went, so I can't come out. I can wait till you can, she said. Then you may be quilting for a long time. 
I am going to take a. Uh, I am going to try the mask. Yeah, I wouldn't um, mind trying the easy ones. But I've got well, no. I'm sorry. Interface. I've got no interfacing or anything. I can't get any at the moment, so they're on hold. Well, the ones like Ruby was making for um, go, going to the grocery and so on. Yeah. I, I thought a, a few of them and then try to tackle her other one. Yeah, because she puts a pocket in them, doesn't she, to put a... Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know that now. That's what that holds for. Yeah. And, and like she says, with her little instructions, you know, to wash them. And... Yeah. Because surely I should be able to. I'll just watch her video and I should be able to do it. Because I think we're going to be wearing masks for all time. I think so. What's happened here? <laughs> across the cross. I've put it on upside down. And I put it on our suppers. Up across, up and up. That last lot I put on wrong. This one, gotta come off. <sighs> gotta come off. I don't see your mistake. I'll show you. This pattern goes. See, that's across. Yes. That's no. I'll that's. That's across. Right. And then it goes up again. Then two uh, up. And together. That's what's wrong. It's got two ups. <laughs> now, was Dougie talking when you did that or me? Yes, I'll blame him. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Easy, it's my fault. So we can blame Doug this time. <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll blame him. I don't know. It doesn't matter. At least it's easy put right. Try to fist it again. It's gone and done. Oh, well. On that note, I'll probably close today and come back to it. Not gonna rush, no rush. But won't you still have the same problem because the other one is going? Uh, no, I've just got to watch how I put the like the one I've done got it here at the moment with them all joined together. I haven't put the um, band on yet, so I can hopefully get it put right. We'll see. Okay. I've still got two more to put on. Two more lots, three more lots to split. No, I know what I'm going to be doing to put it right. So since your sewing machine's in the lounge, you'll have it worked out before tomorrow. Oh, no, I'm doing the farmer's wife out there. Oh, okay. All the stuff for that. I'll just leave this by this machine and then I've got the other by the other machine. And the only thing I've got to keep taking in and out is the ironing board. There's some of these edges that come coming undone where they shouldn't be. Uh, let's do this. Camera. There we go. So, 
this. I'm going to do some tea. I haven't even got any meat or anything out for tea. I've been cooking something every day and I haven't got anything out today. I didn't need anything to do either. Because I've been stuffing myself all. Yeah, I don't need much anyway. And tomorrow I've got fresh meat and that coming. I can make it out the freezer. Put in a bit of an order for this week. Oh. It's pulling the bloody squares to its toe. Leave that. Right, I'll leave that like that because I've got to get something else to do it properly. So, ladies, oh, I've been on three hours. Jesus. Time flies when you have a miss that day. Sure does. Sure does. That's probably iron off. Well, ladies, thank you for joining me again today, keeping me company. Thank you, Teresa. You're welcome. It's been lovely having you all here. And uh, should be back tomorrow, probably. <laughs> Unless something exciting is going to happen tomorrow. The groceries are coming in the morning, so that's exciting. But other than that, nothing. <laughs> so today you're Friday, or and tomorrow's your Saturday? Yeah, tomorrow's Saturday. Okay. It sure is. I might go and watch a couple of videos today I haven't caught up on all them yet but I thank you all very much for coming and uh, if you haven't subscribed subscribe and hit the notice if I think you're all subscribed anyway <laughs> so I thank you all very much and I love you all very much and I will see you all tomorrow and like a bless bye bye